So I am reviewing InVideo.io, an online video editing platform with AI functionality, and we're gonna see how it can help speed up your workflow and help you make videos like that. Let's jump on in. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to invideo.io and sign up. Once you sign up, you'll get access to the dashboard and this will be a home screen. When you get to it, you have a few options. You have templates, text to video, stock media and editor, which is the video editor, which we're going to get to. But before we get there, I want to quickly click on templates and just show you what InVideo has to offer. I mean, you could use these for social media. You can use them for videos. You could use these things for slideshows, any type of corporate. And they got a lot of options and they're actually really nice, good looking ones. If you click on them, it gives you access to choose whether you want it in landscape which is quite intuitive square format or portrait and once you click use template it'll take you to the video editing platform which we'll get to later so I'm just gonna go back they have stock media which they have a ton of stock media uh, unfortunately most of them you have to pay in order to get them which is not a problem and I'll tell you why at the end and the great thing about in video is that it also has a text to video option um, using AI which for anyone who's trying to make a faceless YouTube channel or you trying to create videos and trying to do them really fast this would be an incredible tool or platform for you. You have all these templates that you can use here. I'm just going to click on this one over here. I'm just going to go landscape and click use template. And then what you get to is you get to a screen where it'll ask you to have a script. So if you use ChatGPT and you've written out a script for some video that you've created, you just pop that script in here. And then what it's going to do is it's going to create a video. All right, so I've just created a little script about uh, something ridiculous about bears. And at the bottom here, you can auto suggest images and videos. I would recommend that you get that on. And then you have the option for free stock images and videos or iStock and premium. If you do click on these, you will need to have an account, but I highly recommend that you do because the database is just so much bigger. But for now, let's just click free to show you what they can do and we'll click create scene. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna take your script and with the AI, it's gonna generate images that match that script as well as text animations that pop up on the screen. And then I'll also show you that you have an option to add a voiceover on top of that, an AI voiceover if you want to. I think at the moment, NVIDIA is running special for all of their plans when you sign up, check out my link in the description. It's got more details specifically about what that special is. You can go sign up there. All right, so there we go. It basically breaks your video up into different scenes. On the left, you have the scene, scene one, two, three, and four. If we click on each one, it allows us to edit. So on the right here, it obviously hasn't pulled through exactly what we need, but that's no problem because we can always go and change it. You can click on the image. On the left here, you can put in a video and search for a video of a bear, and you can just pop that thing straight into the background. We can preview the whole thing and see what it looks like. To be honest, that takes a little bit too long, but you can always come up to the top here. You can add some animations, you can edit the scene. There's a way to make the timing shorter. And uh, I'm getting into the video editing section, which I wanna get into, but just quickly before we get into the video editing section, this might interest anyone who's wanting to create videos without a face and create it really quickly. You can come down here, click on voiceover, and you have an automated text to speech. So you can take your script that you wrote and you can get an AI voice to do the voiceover for the script instead of having to put your own voiceover. So you you can actually create videos that are completely AI generated that you don't have to put much work into. ChatGPT can create the script for you. This can create all the visuals as well as the titles and animations. Works really well, it's really intuitive, but let me show you exactly how the dashboard works in terms of creating a video. And I wanna do that with the actual video editor section. So what I'm gonna do is jump out of this, go back to our dashboard and click on the editor up over here. You'll see it asks you what you wanna create, landscape, square, or portrait. Let's do portrait just to be a little bit different. Off the bat, you asked if you wanna upload some of your media files. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use their free library for now. Unfortunately, it does come with a watermark on all of the videos that you export. However, if you upgrade, you can remove that, which I would highly recommend that you do. All right, so on the left, you have all the different options. We have our uploads, so you can upload anything from your computer into this section, or you can choose some of the videos that they have in their library. So let's do something about gym. Let's create an advert for gym and let's find a video of this person running. So we click and we drag it into the section and then it asks you, firstly asks you if you want to trim. So maybe there's a certain section of the video that you like. Maybe it's as the camera's panning there. I'll pull in at this part and I'll pull in on that part and I'll add that to my video. As you can see, it creates a layer on your timeline at the bottom. So I'm going to do the multi-layer thing that is popular with social media. So I'm going to add this one too. And then what you can do is you can position it by dragging, pulling the corners and pushing it up and maybe this guy is the last one and let's 
pull them to the bottom over there and it's nice it's got a snap feature so as you can see i pull the image to the left and it snaps into place when it gets to a corner so that you know everything is nice and aligned and let's just make this slightly bigger and what i want to do is i want to add a bit of animation to these so that they slide in from different sides let's make a section before this so let's put some text they have different options here for different styles and animated text i'm just going to use something that's really simple and we're going to go for something that looks a bit jimmy what is jimmy ah oh, this one why not if we click on it it gets added to our video as a layer and you can double click on the layer over here and it'll allow you to edit the text and i'm going to say go to gym and what we'll do is we'll take these layers and pull them across so i first want the text to appear it says go to gym and then these appear after that and if you saw that there is an animation that happens before the text so we don't even see it yet okay this one takes too long so i'm just going to add a heading as it is and now we can push this thing to the beginning it seems like it's got a little bit of fade on it over on the left there at the bottom these are your intro and outro effects if you click on this little box here it brings up your transitions and we can edit those and if we want to animate the images we pull this thing right to the bottom so the text disappears when the pictures come up and now we can add animations to these so this top one's going to animate from the left it's going to come in slide in from the left and we'll do the same with the bottom one and we'll do the opposite this one and there we go go to gym and then you have your video and you can do some really cool things they have a music library sound effects library again I think with most of them you have to pay in order to use it then they have image library as well as text you can add your own logos and elements which are things like stickers and gifs and overlays and shapes and all that kind of stuff you also have the options up here to crop your images you can crop each layer you can choose the fit type sometimes you have videos that don't actually fit the aspect ratio and you can choose to stretch them you have option to change your colors you can adjust all of your colors here your white balance temperature tint tones actually goes into quite a bit of detail which is impressive for uh, online platform if you want to trim a certain section that you didn't like or maybe just too long you click on trim over there then you can also speed them up and make them faster or slow also a loop flip it on its axis and there are also some effects they've got quite a few effects the great thing about it is if you create it let's say for social media and you say i quite enjoy this video but i would like to put it on a platform that's in a different aspect ratio you can easily do that by coming up to this button over here clicking it and it'll open up your video in a new window and it should automatically adjust that video in order to fit um, like that you might need to adjust it accordingly in order to make things fit but I'm really impressed that just with the click of a button I'm able to export the same video in different aspect ratios and more or less they look similar to one another what's also great is that they have pretty cool collage effects so instead of creating what I just did you can come down here they have the option to add three videos at once and if you hover over it it does show you the animation and what it would look like just like that I can click on that add that to my video and automatically done for me that was instant guys i just literally clicked and that cool animation was done for me sure i'll need to adjust a few things but i mean that's really impressive what are the downsides to nvidia to be honest not too much perhaps that you do have to pay i would say that's probably the only downside their free option i did look it up and it seems like you were able to download videos for free but i don't think you can anymore it seems like you can only play with their platform and then you have to pay but for a platform that can create videos this easily that has a large video library audio library that has everything that you need in a basic video editor in one place and the ability to collaborate as well as the ability to take your video as it is and put it into different aspect ratios for different social media platforms it ticks all the boxes for social media as well as people who want to generate ai videos as well as anybody who wants a working video editor that actually just works and does what it needs to because you can always add your local videos your videos into it without having to use their library if you look at the prices it comes out to 15 dollars a month that seems like the option that most people go for there is an option to get something more which would be at $30 a month but just remember those are built annually if you go to the monthly plans it'll cost a little bit more to so all in all I think it's an incredible platform if you are looking for a platform that is pretty cheap has everything that you need all in one place with a good library something that's easy to use as well as the AI functionality that you get which you can't get in some other platforms I would highly recommend in video I do have a link in the description if you want to sign up go check it out and just check the details because they do have a special that's currently running depending on when you're watching this video otherwise you can sign up for a seven day free trial with them as well on their platform so go check it out guys let me know what you think in the comments and um, yeah let me know if there's anything that i missed as well cool guys peace out